Hey, my name is Phil with LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at an online design tool called Pixelate. Now in this Pixelate review, I wanna show exactly what Pixelate is, how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if Pixelate is right for you. Now just to let you know, Pixelate is actually free to get started and if you wanna help support the channel, make sure you use the link in the description. So first of all, what is Pixelite? Well, like I mentioned earlier, it is an online design tool, but it actually is an online design suite because it allows you to do a few things that a lot of other softwares don't. Things like creating your own folders to manage all of your images, as well as creating your own branding kits so your colors are readily available. You also have access to over 5 million stock images, as well as have access to a ton of free icons. Now, the great thing about this is it's extremely affordable compared to other competitors and to give you one example it is a perfect canva alternative because you can actually have team members for i believe less than half the price so it is quite an amazing tool so what i'm actually going to do is jump behind the screen and show you how pixelite works Okay, so we're gonna start off here at the Pixelite uh, website. Basically what I wanna do here is just show you some of the different features that they actually have on offer. Reason being, when I go to show you the editor soon, in case I miss them out, you'll know they are there. So if I go to the features tab, you'll see we have access to so many ready-made different templates, stock images, the background remover tool. You've also got premium icons, illustrations, and mockups, very good for e-commerce and other types of social media. Then you've got multiple workspaces for different people on the pro plan, as well as vector uploads and the advanced editor. Now there's other things as well, like the cropping of images, the filters, custom borders, and all of that sort of good stuff. So there's a lot to actually use inside of this tool. Now, just before we get into it, I wanna show you the Pixelide pricing. You can actually get started for free. You can get up to 200 plus templates. You can have unlimited downloads and have over 5 million uh, images that you have access to in the stock library and if you want to go pro you can also have 10 credits for the background remover you can have up to five different workspaces which is five different projects absolutely amazing as well as three team members and have unlimited brand presets so it's a very cool thing having the uh, brand presets and the three team members if we were to look at say canvas pricing which is um, one of their main competitors for just one team member, you'll be paying $180 per year or $20 per month, so it's over double. And if you wanted to have three, it's gonna cost you up to $64 per month. So if you are a team and you're working on a budget, the Pixelide pricing plan of just $10 a month is absolutely ridiculous. So let's get into it. I'll jump behind the dashboard now and show you how it works. So here we are. Once you get in, you'll notice it is quite familiar to Canva. I believe all of these um, design editors are quite similar, but that doesn't mean that it's less powerful and unique in its own way. Now at the top, you'll notice we have home templates, my designs, workspace, BG remover, and the illustrations. I am on the pro plan, so this is what I'm gonna be showing you the different things. But if you come down, you'll notice there are so many different templates for all of the different areas that you would actually need. Now for me personally, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a YouTube thumbnail because majority of the time I do actually use different editors to create my thumbnails but today this particular thumbnail for this video will be created with YouTube so to do so what I'm actually going to do is open up a YouTube thumbnail and we'll get straight into the editor so once you click on the thumbnail you want to use you'll notice the editor will load and just like the other ones everything is super easy to actually navigate now you'll notice all of the different tools are on the top right side of it the border you've also got the shadow you've also got the opacity alignment you've got the layers you've got the flip option as well as locks duplicate and delete now on the left is very interesting because there are a few extra things we've got the templates images um, you've got text illustrations which i absolutely love these illustrations you can also change the colors everything like that then you've got mock-ups which means you can put you know your brand or logos in different types of devices i'll show you some different ones they have laptops tablets ipads imacs all that sort of good stuff then we've got Brandify, and this is where you can actually put in your own brand colors and everything like that, right? And this will save you so much time if you are working for a company because all of your brand colors are perfect every single time and you can literally just put them inside of here. All you need to do is put in your brand name. So I'm gonna put in legit marketing reviews like so, and then you choose your different color scheme, right? And the good thing is it will stay here for good each time you upload a, uh, a new 
preset or a new template, it's gonna have preset those colors, which will make life a lot quicker. Now, if we keep going down, we've also got elements, things like shapes and all that sort of good stuff. We've got icons where you can quickly come in, choose the icons you want. There is so many to choose from. You've also got blend, um, which is an interesting one, which will actually change the color of the certain elements. As you can see, the text is changing, borders are changing, colors are changing. It's actually really cool. I do love this little feature. And then you've got my files. And just to show you also in images, if you wanted to use stock imagery, you can choose between Unsplash and Pixabay inside of here. Just simply search what you want so if i'm looking for say shoes go ahead type in shoes click on search and then here are all your shoes so that's basically the walkthrough there's also the resize um, area as well if you want to change the sizing of your template you can also rename it at the top then once you download it you've got all of your different types of downloadable files so it's it's really easy to navigate it's a really cool tool to use um, just to let you know those are all there so what i'm going to do right now is actually go back and i'm going to start deleting a lot of things inside of here because i'm actually going to start my um my template from scratch so i'm just going to highlight all of these not that <laughs> sorry highlight all of these delete all those and i've got now a blank template now what i've actually done is uploaded all of my um, different sort of elements i add in my thumbnails so if i go to thumbnail you'll see i've got some things here so first of all this is going to be the background i'm going to use like so so what i'm going to do oh, accidentally clicked it twice i'm going to drag this to the top left like so and then i'm going to make it stretch out to the full screen so this is just a stock background that i use next i'm going to use this little guy here so just simply click on it it's going to get added all right and then i'm going to stretch it out to make it look quite nice so it's really easy to do literally click and drop and move everything is fast everything is um, extremely lightweight to use next i'm going to add in a logo because this is going to be for this particular company pixelide right so here's the pixelide logo i created earlier make it nice and sizable next i'm going to add some quick text so inside here i'm going to put in pix pixelide right i'm going to highlight it change the type of font i want so i'm going to choose oswald like so wait for oswald to appear like so so that's all good very easy can you see how nice and quick this actually is to use so i'm going to drag this to uh the top now i'm going to change the color so once again go to the color tool i'm going to make it white like so to match the branding now i'm going to slice this back a little bit and then i'm going to stretch it out makes it bigger about that size looks pretty good and i might actually flip this background see what it looks like so you can flip things nice and easily by using the flip tool so i'm going to flip it vertically like that that looks pretty good i'm happy with that pixelide now i'm going to add in review actually i'm going to duplicate the last one because my um keeps the format like so right review okay make it a little bit i'll change the color to like a, a nice poppy color like a green like so and i'll resize a little bit maybe not that much about here that looks pretty good pick slide review and then i always like to add in a little square like so now the square i'm going to stretch out and i'm going to make it have a black background so it sticks out a little bit more like so, I'm gonna add in once again some more text. So I might actually just press copy and paste, which on Mac is command C and then command V, copy paste. And I'm gonna put in here best Canva alternative, like so. And I'm gonna change the sizing down to about 72, looks pretty good. And the reason I'm actually showing you this is to show you how quick and easy that you can actually use Pixelide. Um, it's a very simple tool to use, yet it's so powerful. So what I'm gonna do is just have a few more final adjustments. What I might do is pause the video and show you the final result. Okay, I ended up changing the logo for a uh, sort of inverted version. Put a little border around. Borders are really easy to do, which I was quite impressed with. Just simply click on the button, check it on, choose the color, and then the size of the border. So that all looks pretty good. I also made myself a little bit bigger. So I'm pretty happy with this, right? Everything looks really good. And you can always um, use the like Command Z go back feature if you accidentally do something like delete a thing. And you can also go forward as well. So what I'm gonna do is name this the Pixelide Review, like so. Click on download, choose JPEG, choose like this. Quality, I'm gonna leave it 80 and press download. And just like that, 
the image is downloaded and here it is looks amazing so that's basically how you do it right that's super simple way of creating templates using pixelite now if you come down there's loads of different posts you can have so many different types of templates that are available if you look in here we've got things like all the different types of facebook posts um, we've also got different stories for instagram twitter linkedin pinterest ecom youtube you know twitch blog headers book covers there's so many different ones you can actually choose um, so if you are a business and you are looking for a cheap canva alternative highly recommend checking out pixelite once again it's only like nine dollars 99 and you can have three team members which is usually more than you could um, possibly need plus you get to create multiple workspaces so if you have one workspace here simply create a new one this could be um, workspace two you know you'd call it whatever your project is description um, this is a workspace right obviously you'd name it something more appropriate but here it is workspace two it's all ready to go um, you just need to add your team members in and start creating your designs and all your folders and everything super easy to do um, and that's pixelate so what i'm going to do right now is jump behind the camera one more time i just want to talk about a few extra things okay so that was pixelite as you can see it is a very easy tool to use it gives you all of the features you would possibly need and templates to match and the good thing about pixelite is it's extremely affordable compared to other tools like canva as you can have up to three team members for just nine dollars 99 so if you want to check out pixelite once again there is a link in the description i highly recommend you go and just have a play with it at least it's a very cool tool and i hope you did enjoy this pixelite review if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet yeah, make sure you smash subscribe to keep updated for all future videos bonuses lifetime deals and reviews that's it from me i'll see you on the next video